Hello, you all beautiful Sagittarius. This is going to be your uh, week general tarot reading, November 30th to uh, December 6th, 2020. And uh, in case you are interested in a personal reading with me or you wish to uh, learn tarot and uh, you want me to be your guide, uh, you can visit my website, which is listed in the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find information and way to purchase all of the services I'm providing. So with that being said, let's move to the uh, reading straight away here. And the first one, the first card we got, which is the general topic of your week, Sagittarius. This is going to be the Three of Cups. It's a very, very promising start here, followed by the next one. Oh my God, which uh, is the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic. Mm, that's your week. And I have four planets in Sagittarius. Scorpio reading was amazing. Oh my God, that's my week. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so um, yeah, I mean, we do. Uh, you you do have the uh, Ace of Pentacles as a energies that are feeding up the Three of Cups. Uh, moving next, we do have the challenges that you need to overcome, and you will overcome throughout the week. That is to be the Nine of Swords, followed by the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy throughout the week. That will be the gift and the blessing by the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, moving next, it is the impression that you are leaving into the people around. That will be the uh, Queen of Pentacles. Afterwards, it is the obstacles that are to hold you back. And we do have the Knight of Pentacles. Followed by the uh, good things, or rather like the benefits, positivities in the week that are going to push you forward. These are the things that are helping you here. Seven of Swords. And the last one, that will be the Ten of Pentacles, which represents the guidance that Tarot is offering to you, Saji. Right. So, um, it seems that you are going to have some kind of, a, I don't know, maybe a clash. It could not be a, a, a direct clash with somebody, but nonetheless, a certain clash. And uh, it will refer to some kind of a common fulcrum. I don't know how to mention it or how to say it. But let's uh, dive into the cards and you're going to see what I'm talking about. So uh, for you, we do have the Ace of Pentacles as a uh, energies that are feeding the topic. And then it is the Three of Cups here which uh, represents the, the situation of the week, or yeah, it is, it is the situation of the week, the general topic of the week. So the general topic of the week, it's, uh, it's pretty broad and it does refer to uh, sharing up your emotions with others and seeing how others are supporting you through those emotions. So you are gonna feel the way that you are expressing, for example, your love in a very light way as well, your hatred in a very light way, anything that you do feel you're going to be able to express it in the world and you're going to find support into it. That is because with the Ace of Pentacles, um, it's, it's like separating the unnecessary relationships. They don't have to be um, a romantic relationships, but any kind of relationships. So the healthy relationships from the rotten one. But on a different level, these cards points that that week is going to, for you, Sagittarius is going to be dappled. And I mean dappled with uh, results. And that will be because what you are working on or what you are into it's your thing with the Ace of Pentacles here. Ace of Pentacles points that you are, that you just, not you are, but you have just start walking on a path that is the only one that makes sense. That is the path that gives you the thing, the opportunity, if you will, to further your goal, whatever that goal is. The Ace of Pentacles as an energy brings harmony in your relationship life and success in your business. And that's why with such an ease, with such a subtlety, with such a light, you are going to receive or rather like produce results everywhere you go, everything you touch. 
So it's very important once again to relate emotionally with the things you do, with the people you um, communicate with or the people that you do relate with as well. Um, the last thing I want to say about uh, those uh, two cards is uh, that you need to look into what uh, how can I say, what, 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 what is really worth it in the long run? Here we are not talking about a temporary, um, uh, temporary indulgement. We are talking about a long-term, probably a lifetime um, structure that you need to follow. And you are going to recognize that structure that it does produce results with ease. And these results are continuous results. It's not something that you do assimilate only one time, but it is something that you can draw from um, for a long, long time, if not a, um, for a lifetime. So just to give you an example, that is not going to be a, a contract for three months, but it's going to be an indefinite contract, okay? For example, that is not going to be just a flood, but it's going to be, for example, law, and so on and so forth. I just want you to know that whatever starts to move with ease in your life, don't be afraid to believe in it because it is real. I mean, that's the only thing that truly makes sense and it is real in your life. Moving next, it is the challenges that you are to overcome. That is to be the Nine of Swords. And I already touched on that. We are talking about the fears here. Is it true or not? And especially if we're talking about relationships in love, Am I not going to be abandoned, like left alone? Yeah, it's beautiful right now, but I am afraid that one day this is going to end and I am going to be left alone. And that is a fear that you need to conquer, that you need to overcome. Just the very fact that this card is within this position points that whatever that fear is, it's whatever that fear is, in, fear is directed to or it relates to, it's totally, totally futile and uh, you pretty much need to, I don't know, overcome it. I don't know how you can overcome it. I mean, if I were in your shoes, I don't know what, what I would have done. I mean, probably trust blindly, don't know. But just the card points here because it is within this position, it is that you are going to overcome it. One way to do it, according to the cards, is just accept the consequences of all of your actions and that way or kind of like imagine the consequences of all of your of all of your actions and that way this is going to protect you or or kind of like stop you of doing things that you are to regret further and as you don't do those those things you alone are going to determine yourself or rather like uh, make a point to yourself that actually there is nothing to be afraid of. I mean, if you don't, you know, screw the things around, which you want, then that fear is totally, totally futile. Moving next, we do have the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy. <coughs> Excuse me. Throughout the week, that is the gift and the blessing of the Seven of Pentacles. So that is a very interesting card that we do have here for you, Sagittarius. Seven of Pentacles kind of points that uh, your life is expanding in this week in one way or another, maybe in many ways. And you have to be prepared for a very sudden event, maybe, or something that is to happen, a good thing that is to happen because it is within the gifts and the blessings that is just lurking behind the corner and you have to be prepared to take it on. Because what we do see here in the picture is a person that it is worried or wondering about the pentacle that in this case, how to fit the pentacle into the bush. And that could be related as well to your fear because you may know that that thing is about to come about but you may not have right now the space within your life to fit it in or kind of like the right circumstances to fit it in. You are about to have those circumstances. Just don't second guess yourself and um, kind of like do the things the way you feel them because that's very important with the Ace of Pentacles as an energy and the Three of Cups uh, as a, a prime of the reading. You have to do the things the way you feel them that are the, uh, and those feelings are 
are supported by others. Okay, not impulsive feelings, but those feelings that are supported by others. Those are the feelings that you need to follow. Uh, and also the Seven of Pentacles is the gifts and the blessings. It, it's kind of like contradicts in this regard the, the uh, Nine of Swords. And that is when, uh, even if you are afraid, for example, you may be uh, kicked of the job that you dreamt for or that you really enjoy and uh, you know you are afraid that you are going to lose it one day or the person that you are about to be with or you are with right now one day is going to leave you the more you spend time thinking about it the more you are going to prove to yourself by facts that happen by by events and so on and so forth that that's no, it's literally almost impossible to happen. So it's all within your that these fears are all within your head, uh, in your head, fallacies and our fears, not because you are insecure, not by a large margin, but because you just realize how much you have and everybody at your shoes would would have would have had those fears because you don't want to lose what makes you happy, lucrative, you know joyful and etc uh, etc et so moving next we do have uh, the impression of the people around to you that will be the queen of pentacles so impression wise people are going to see you very very self-absorbed and also a person that how can i say that sticks to oneself that is also true for the magician card but in this case it's not exactly the magician strives to be uh, how can i say open on public okay while the queen of pentacles she doesn't care really about the public but only to those that see her for what she truly is so while the magician wants to be liked by as many as possible for what he is and he seeks social, you know, interactions, etc, etc, the Queen of Pentacles is very comfortable with her domain and she lets in everybody for as long as that, any, that person asks to, to know the Queen of Pentacles. Why I am saying that? Because throughout the week, uh, people are going to, how can I say, not seeing you someone who seeks attention uh, at all cost but people are going to see you as a person who shows that if they don't want to be with you that's fine there is a life without them too and that nobody in this particular uh, meaning none will be able to press you emotionally nor how can i say uh, give you an ultimatums and so on and so forth and as well people are going to uh, see in you determination to develop some kind of a potential as well is that potential there or not that's irrelevant this is how people see you moving next we do have the uh, challenges uh, or rather like the obstacles that are holding you back we do have a person who is um, very strict, disciplined, determined. He knows that he or she does know what they, tr what they want and what they want, it is what you want. And they are about to hold you back for one or another way. If you do ask me here, looking at uh, uh, your cards, these people were doomed to fail uh, or that person is doomed to fail because they don't have what you do. Yes, they do have the discipline. They do have the, uh, how can I say, the plan, if you will. They do have the determination, but they don't have what you have. And that is heart, at least according to, uh, at least according to these cards. Uh, Knights of Pentacles, they are very simple by nature. Okay, very, very predictable. So that, uh, I believe that gives you a certain age, uh, edge or over the situation, most likely opens up as a, um, uh, as a business competition. But should it happen into your relationship, it is a most likely an old um, girlfriend or a boyfriend, like an ex to the person that you are with or an ex to the person that you want to be with that will try to pose you a competition. It will be, 
it will be, uh, if you ask me, it's going to be totally irrelevant. I don't believe that you even are going to notice it at all, uh, at all, but still it's there because it is the only thing that is going to pose you any problems. Um, it's, it's basically their, their attempts are going to be rather pathetic and, and puny. That's, that's all that there is to it. So uh, moving next, we do have uh, the uh, positivities, which uh, are going to push you forward in your week. And uh, that is the Seven of Swords. Ah, oh, man. So with the Seven of Swords, it, it seems that you are going to stick to what you believe. This time around, you are not going to side with all or with everybody, but only with those that are support you. I already said that many times, but this is the key to, uh, to, the, re to, to the reading, to the week of yours. Okay. And uh, instead of you being a follower or all moving into the same direction, you are going to be the one that it is followed by your followers. Seven of Swords here points that uh, in this week, what is going to push you forward or what is going to benefit you is your uh, sense of self-righteousness, uh, the ability to stand for yourself, the ability to show strong backbone, the ability to storm your situation. So you take what you have been owed or what you deserve as well. And um, on the most bright side here, um, you will be a victim of no lie nor deception. Because according to this card, you took all the precautionary measures not to be. So um, th that week, it seems that you are shielded of a fraud. And I'm talking of a fraud because that thing most likely is to be, is, if, it is, if it is at all developing, it will be developed uh, into, uh, into your career, not within the relationship. Within the relationship, that card pretty much uh, displays your enthusiasm that no matter what you are with that woman or with that man um, or you want to be with that woman and that man and that will be it you don't care what happens you just want to be with them and you show it show your determination and your readiness as well into it and that will make a huge impression alongside with the impression with the card of the impression that you are leaving into the people around and the last one it is the guidance that the tarot is offering here that is going to be the ten of pentacles uh, and the guidance is um, a couple of things first one it is that your investments may that be your money may that be your time may that be your your, uh, your dedication, your love, you name it, they all are going to be set into the right places. So if you start experiencing love throughout the week, it's most likely going to be shared or it's going to be shared. Um, if, you are, if you want to start a business, you are not going to be deprived by your partner. So the, if the business, is the business going to be successful or not? That's a subject of a long-term reading, not just only one week reading, but for this week, you're going to place your money at the right places. And uh, the other thing here about the uh, Ten of Pentacles in terms of guidance is that uh, you, or rather, yeah, the guidance the Tarot is offering, it is that um, you have to work towards your sovereignty. Or something that uh, has been said today, it is that if you don't, not your sovereignty, but independence, I'm sorry, a bit tired. Uh, if you don't make space for yourself, then everybody is going to climb on top of you and on top of your head. So it falls to you to, to build up a boundaries and let into those, uh, within those boundaries, only those that share your vision, your emotions, those that support you, through everything you go, no conditions whatsoever. So uh, that being said, this was your weekly general tarot reading, Sagittarius. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys. And uh, we are to see each other uh, next time. Uh, until then, bye.